Ukraine has a network of nearly 10,000 acoustic sensors scattered across the country that detect the location of Russian drones and send targeting information to air defense forces. According to Defense One, the concept, called Sky Fortress, was developed by two Ukrainian engineers in a garage who placed a microphone and a mobile phone on a pole several meters high to listen to the movements of the UAV. They've deployed about 9,500 of these in their country and now they're getting very precise information that's synthesized in the central computer and sent to the mobile teams. On the iPad, they're getting the flight path of these UAVs. They've got triple anti-aircraft guns. A guy with six hours of training can shoot them down. General James Hecker, commander of US Air Forces in Europe and Africa, said during a speech at the Royal International Air Tattoo. About three months ago, Russia sent a salvo of 84 drones into Ukraine and the system helped troops shoot down all but four. The system was so effective that its engineers were invited to demonstrate it at Ramstein Air Base in Germany. Other countries are looking at the acoustic sensors, the general said, noting that Romania recently held a similar demonstration of the system. Each sensor costs between $400 and $500, he said, meaning the entire network costs less than a pair of Patriot air defense systems. Hecker said the US and allied militaries must find their own ways to dramatically reduce operating costs. In April, the US spent millions of dollars in missiles to destroy $30,000 drones launched at Israel from Iran and Iranian proxies. That's why I'm challenging industry, I'm challenging NATO aviation leaders to come up with cheaper, more creative solutions that will put us perhaps hopefully on the right side of the cost curve, but if not, on an equivalent cost curve, he said. Patriot and other heavy air defense assets remain vital to Ukraine, whose forces and civilian infrastructure are increasingly under attack from Russian ballistic missiles. What we're seeing from the Russians is an increase in their use of ballistic missiles and that's primarily because North Korea is providing them with ballistic missiles and that's obviously a concern for us but we're making sure that we arm Ukraine so that they can combat those threats, Hecker said. Following the recent losses sustained by the Wagner Group in Mali, the Kremlin will need to undertake a large-scale replacement of its mercenaries in Africa with soldiers from the Russian Defense Ministry's African Corps. Meanwhile, part of this corps has recently been redeployed to the Kharkiv region to support the offensive actions of the occupying forces according to the Institute for the Study of War. Several prominent Russian military bloggers critical of the Kremlin claim that the Russian Defense Ministry is taking pleasure in the Wagner Group's losses and suggest that the Russian military leadership may use this incident as a pretext to halt the deployment of Wagner mercenaries in the Sahel and fully replace them with units from the African core of the Russian Ministry of Defense. Some Russian bloggers have cited an unnamed source within Putin's administration indicating that the personnel of the African Corps will replace Wagner forces across the Sahel trio, Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. The Institute for the Study of War speculates that the African Corps may currently lack the capacity to adequately replace the Wagner Group, especially in Mali, as elements of the Corps were recently deployed to Ukraine to participate in offensive operations in the northern Kharkiv region. Supplanting Wagner at scale following losses such as those accrued in the recent ambush would likely involve redeploying some African core fighters to Mali away from the front line in Ukraine and the Russian military command likely does not see completely supplanting Wagner in Mali or elsewhere in the Sahel as a priority effort at this time, the ISW report states. On July the 27th, Tuareg rebels from the CSP-PSD movement showcased photos and videos of a destroyed Wagner convoy in Mali. The fighting took place in the town of Tinswatan near the Mali-Algeria border on July the 25th and 26th. At least 20 Wagner fighters were killed and those who survived the battle were taken prisoner. 
The Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has announced the continuation of successful actions against Russian war criminals from the Wagner Group in Africa.